a lot of you guys may probably want to create some kind of search system or search bar when when you type you are just going to display the results that you are looking for that's what I'm proposing you to do now in this video and if you look for the code you can go into the description okay so right now here I got a new route um, called a search which is here that I define so we are going to write this whole code inside this route okay so the first thing that I want to do is just to use use effect and use a state from react which is coming up here and I'm going to have actually a main component called search okay so what I want to do is to have here um, to start not inside my div of course I would like to have a search and a set search variable this is where we are going to store our search string and we are going to use this string to filter actually an array okay so I got my uh, search which is here of type string but here I'm not using um, basically TypeScript so I can just have this and there we go so we got my search here what I'm going to do I'm going to directly go to my search component and when I arrive here we are there so if I just display search okay and if I type something else in here we can see that I got the results appearing in here okay so right now it's going to be empty um, another variable that we're gonna have is of course a list of items where we are going to search on okay so basically this list of items could be empty and we could fetch the data from a website probably something that we're going to do later and we can fulfill actually this list directly in here so here I got a list of items which are actually courses that I did and I want to look through this list of items when I'm going to type through an input that we're going to have just here okay and the last one that I would like to have is basically a um, filtered array and you go you are going to understand that later this filtered array here okay is going to substitute the results of item okay um, from the list that we are going to display okay so far so good what we're going to do now is to work directly actually here is going to be search page instead what we're going to do we are going to create a search component which will be an input that will receive data so you will understand why I do that so I'm going to type function search okay and this function search basically is going to receive um, two um, props here search and set search there we go and you understand that search and set search will come from its parent so here we got a, a component that will receive from the parent function here a search and set search okay what I want to do here is just to return what we call an input okay so I can just take this search component down there so I'm just going to go up here because we can we cannot see it on the camera I'm going to call search like this and I'm going to pass as a search I'm going to pass two component two um, sorry two variable search and set search and we are good okay so far so good very nice do we got our input we can see it in here I'm just going to add some style so now we know that we got uh, basically Tailwind CSS now I can get a border rounded and we should be good there we go we got our input which is here I can add some style okay px to py1 and then we should be good okay okay there we go so we got our input and what we want to do here is to add a type text because I'm going to write some text and I'm going to have a value and this value is going to be search coming from up here what I want to do also is to set the search actually when I type on it so I'm going to use on change and I'm going to use set search so far so good our input is going to attribute the value to search and if we want to be sure about that what we can do here is just to pass our variable search here on 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 the top with the subcomponent okay so I'm just going to update the page and when I type we can see that I got the value that is passed and attributed to the variable on the parent okay so far so good we've got our component uh, here working what I would like to have also is a list of elements that I'm going to display just after okay so I'm going just to create another component here on top and of course these components here are local um, which means actually that um, which means nothing you, you could have these components as external components doesn't matter okay so 
first we're going to receive the items so you understood that the items are coming from here so what i can do is to go down here and just put here here for items items that are just coming up here when i deconstruct here my object of props okay so here on the list what i want to do is to return a ul okay and inside i'm going to have um, items dot map items blah 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 etc to display all the items that are coming basically uh, from um, the parent so if i do that suddenly i got all my list here that's really cool i want to have probably some uh, uh, style to it so what i want to do here is to put here some um, flex and there we go okay if there is no item we would like to return a phrase like we don't get any results so to do in order to do so what we want to do is just to say hey if there is no um, um, length on the items, there will be no results. Okay, very good. So, so far, we've got here um, our component doing that. Um, it's good, but when I type here, I don't have my list updated just up here. So, there is two possibilities of doing that. I'm going to show you one at first. The first one is to use use effect, okay? So, I'm going to call use effect, okay? Use effect and not use effect once. There we go. I'm going to use use effect and I'm going to trigger use effect when we will be on search. So, when there will be a search, we would like to change the list of items. However, remember down here we got items, okay? Um, it's not going to do anything at this point. Why? Because basically we are going to just have the items list and that's not what we do. Instead of items, what we would like to have is filtered. Okay, and suddenly when we get filtered, so here I need to import, of course, use effect on top. There we go. Suddenly when we get filters, we don't get any results because filtered is an empty value. So there is two things to do. Okay, the first thing is to basically add here items. So I want to add items and I want to say that when item is initiated, so when we launch the app, we want to set filters the item. So the first thing that I can do <laughs> is to do this, okay? So suddenly I'm making a copy of the items list in filtered. Why? Because I want to retrieve the list that I got here, okay? I need to keep the real value of this list. And when I'm gonna do perform a search in filtered, I'm going to push the results. But if I remove the results of item, I will not be able later to retrieve that. This is why we are using filtered in here. That's the first method. There is other methods, of course. I'm just going to show you this one now. Okay, so, so far so good. But the thing is that in here, um, here, even if when I type something, okay, I need to filter these items. So what I want to do here instead is to, I'm going to go to the line in order for you to uh, just have a clear reading of what, what we're going to do. I'm going to type filter, and here I'm going to just filter the item, okay? Every every item that I'm going to pass. And what I want to say here is to write that I want to find a correspondence between the string and between the item itself. So the item here is a string. If you got an object, you can make substring search, etc., etc. Okay, so what I want to do is to just lowercase every value. So I can type two lowercase. And I want to say, does this um, here, does this uh, item dot lowercase includes my search? And here my search, I want to also lowercase it. So we lowercase everything in order to uh, determine if we got actually a result. So let's read again this items filter on line 35. This items filter here is going to create a copy of the items array and it's going to basically uh, filter every item. To compare the search and the result, so the search and every item, sorry, to have the result, we need to put a lowercase to both of them. So here, if I type suddenly introduction, suddenly we can see that we've got also the results appearing in here. 
So it's really cool because we can see that even if I put some um, basically course or if I put some letters that are corresponding into the string like OD that we got in here, we've got the results that appears because we have the results uh, up there. Another thing is that we still keep actually our items in here. As I said to you, this is the source of truth that we should never remove. So basically we've got our items down there that are just filters in here. And finally here, if there is no results, we return the items array uh, by default. Okay, let's try a second method. Let's just actually here use this items filter in here. And down there, let's put like, if there is a search, okay, if there is a search, we want to return this operation. Otherwise, we are going to return the item. Is it going to work? Well, let's try. So I'm going to type JavaScript. It's going to work. I'm going to type CSS grid. It's going to work. It's going to work also for Node.js, Crash, etc., etc. So suddenly, I can remove my use effect which is here and I can also remove my set filtered okay so I'm just going to update and I'm going to type understanding it's working introduction it's working CSS grid it's working all right I'm going to let this example on the slash search page where you can probably copy paste the code that we got here but as you see creating a search bar it's really fast Later, when we're going to see fetch, we're going to see how to do just to call an API, get the results, or probably use an API endpoint that is going to return the results automatically. Of course, the problematic will be on um, not spamming the API. There will be a solution for that.